So I wanted to, my name is Dr. Faith, by the way, if you didn't know, now you know. Like Faith. Um, but I wanted to come to you and um, share on a specific topic that I get asked a lot. Um, not only as a counselor, but also as a spiritual leader. And that question is, Dr. Faith, what do I do when I feel like my um, singleness is, at this point, not from God. It's some um, evil manipulations or witchcraft or something like that. Uh, well, first of all, I'll say you're not crazy. And that is a real thing that can happen and can be um, a lot of times people limit our lives to um, the physical world that we can see hear, taste touch and smell but that is not that's 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 just a, a small minuscule uh, fraction uh, of our lives there is a spiritual world that plays a big vital role in the way we live and the things that happen to us uh let me just elaborate on that a little bit for example when you complain about stuff or you say oh god you guys are getting on my nerves or oh i'm sick as a dog and you keep talking like that like very negatively then what happens is you end up having exactly what you say oh things are going really good right now something bad is bound to happen see i told you so you know that kind of stuff why does that happen? How is that possible? So what I say can actually, you know, translate into what's happening in my life. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then it actually, it seems like the negative stuff happens quicker uh, than if you say good stuff, but the good stuff does happen nonetheless, right? So you can say, um, uh, I'm, I'm succeeding in my business. My ha I always have clients. Uh, my family is flourishing, even if it's not initially. As you keep saying it and you keep saying it, things start turning around and things start happening, right? What is that? That is the spiritual world having influence into the physical world. Now, as it pertains to someone being single for a prolonged amount of time or for... Um, reasons that are completely totally beyond them and I get it there are some people who well I don't know why nobody's married to me well because you act crazy and you do have an attitude and you uh block off anything and anybody that comes to you and even just says hi how about that that's a real reason why right but then there's other reasons such as um you know I remember one young lady when she would go to sleep in her dreams um she would always have boyfriends or she would be having sex in her dream and so she just she would find it very hard to keep a boyfriend or keep someone's interest they would just be turned off from her so quickly and things of that nature she's just like I just don't understand what's going on well very simple sweetheart you got some stuff going on in the spiritual world that's interfering with your with your natural world and in that particular situation we're talking about a spiritual husband right so meaning that in the spirit you're already married so you can't be married in the physical if you're already married in the spirit all right so what do you do okay well, um there's also people who you know you just see some type of cycles going on you keep picking the same kind of person different name different time maybe different skin color or culture or background but it's the same kind of person that is an ungodly cycle and that's the type of stuff that we're actually going to be coming against and praying against um, at the Dear Single Lady Conference coming up 2018, October 19th and 20th. Myself, my husband, um, Pastors Will and Erica Mims, um, and, Mr. and Minister Carrie, that is, we're going to do the spiritual side and we're also going to do the practical side, but we're going to be taking... Um, special attention to the spiritual side because if you don't tackle the spiritual world then what the life you live in the physical world will never amount to what's in your heart so what do you do in those situations there's a number of things that you can do the first one that you can do is of course begin to uh, pray and fast right and ask god what is going on um what's happening how did this 
um, thing begin or start or get an inroad into my life? Because when you ask God those type of questions, now he can give you an answer. Now he can begin to point you or direct you and begin to reveal to you um, uh, the, the things that you need. God is a very solution-based God. So therefore, if you're saying, why me, why me, why me? Well, that doesn't lend itself to, you know, a solution. It's just kind of like a pity it's a pity party not even kind of it's a straight up 100 percent pity party we don't have time for pity parties what we want is solutions what we want is this is how it came even if i don't know how it came don't care just tell me how to get over it tell me how to break it tell me how to get through tell me how to knock this thing out so i can live my good ideal god kind of life that's what i want okay so Number one, prayer, fasting, ask God questions that lend themselves to him giving you a solution. And that's when you're going to be able to um, really get to from point A to point B all the way down to Z, right? Um, second thing that you can do, of course, I mentioned it before, is attend meetings or conferences in which the speakers are knowledgeable about spiritual things, particularly godly spiritual things. And I have to clarify because, you know, there are um, uh, witches and wizards and they're not shy about it. Psychics and mediums, they are not operating out of the same spirit of the spirit of God. And so you have to understand that there's there's different levels of the spirit. You have the spirit as given and um, manifested by God, right? And then you have um, the spirit as manifested and really perverted because uh, the enemy can't create anything. He just perverts everything. Uh manifested by the enemy by the devil so when you step into things that are not of God the opposite of God what you're doing is you're giving the enemy room to come further enter into your life even if you end up getting a solution I know a lot of people who will say well I, the reason why I did that or why I called is because I got a solution to my problem you know they gave me the remedy that I needed they gave you the remedy but you sold a piece of your soul if not your whole soul getting that remedy and now you got a bigger problem right you may have a, 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 a some type of alleviation from the issue that you were having before but honey you've just allowed yourself to get into something deeper and heavier than what you were in before and usually you're not going to find out until this junk hit the fan okay so you got to understand there's two sides uh, of, of it you got the good and you got the the evil and usually the evil will you know make itself look pretty and masquerade itself and you know just bring you in but it's only God by his spirit Holy Spirit uh, by way of Jesus Christ that you can get a, a, a relief from your situation and it's not going to take you into something deeper or darker okay so uh, number two is get into meetings or meet with people who have an understanding and awareness of these things that can help you for real for real help you right okay number three is you need to educate yourself you need to understand what is going on and you know the 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 the, the, the deception the 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 deception <laughs> The deception is the remix. Uh, the deception is a lot of times you feel like, well, oh, I know that. I got that. I get that. Okay, that's pride. Because throughout your entire life on this earth, you should always be in a mindset of learning. And matter of fact, that's really the difference between um, the rich and the poor, the successful and the unsuccessful. If you can always be in a mindset to learn, to be, to be aware, to be knowledgeable of something, then you can really go somewhere. So number three, you need to become knowledgeable. Start reading some books. Start getting, and I actually have uh, on my blog, I have some resources on spiritual warfare, uh, understanding spiritual things, understanding how uh, the spirit realm works. I have a, a lot of resources that you can take advantage of. And you just go to my blog, faithabraham.com slash blog. Okay, that's number three. Number four is um, partner up with somebody um, 
one-on-one -on -one that's knowledgeable about uh, these things because if you can partner with somebody and they can walk you through it and get you the understanding that you need and depending on how deep this stuff is um, they can really get you where you need to be that's that's a bonus and then you can start growing in your relationship with God so that you don't have that type of situation happen again uh, then number five uh, I would honestly say is um, you really need to become uh, uh, more aware of what's happening around you and you need to change your network you got to get some people and if you notice some of the things that I've said are very similar but they're not the same you got to get yourself a network of people um, who can help you to grow help for, uh, shape you help you uh, become stronger in your walk help you become stronger in your dominion and your authority and when you do that what happens is um, there's certain things that the enemy can't perpetuate against you and so um, even with your network your network so this is this will be 5a right um, 5a is your network is going to really encourage you to begin to use your words and begin to speak things over yourself in your life that are contrary to what you're seeing so if you're saying that you want to be married stop saying I want to be married who cares right the spiritual world doesn't operate like that I decree and declare that I am happily married I am happily married to the husband or wife uh, that God has intended for me. There's nothing that can stop us from getting together. I decree and declare that the spiritual forces that have been sent against me are broken and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that by this time next year, I will be married. I decree and declare that my spouse has located me. If you're a woman, if you're a man, I have located my wife, right? Um, I decree and declare that the spiritual forces that have been set up against me to cause frustration, to cause confusion, to cause delay and denial are broken in the name of Jesus, right? And so when you start speaking like that, remember I started this off with saying that the things that you say are the, your words you can't see them but you can hear them they're spiritual so they begin to shift things in the spirit realm which now causes things to begin to manifest in the physical realm and so when you start taking control of the things that you say knowing that whether you whatever you say good or bad godly or ungodly will eventually catch up with you and happen knowing that and saying what it is that you want to see ha ah you'll begin to see it and you'll actually begin to um, get into a place where you can um, God will begin to 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 take to point you towards people and um, show you things and say and reveal things to you so that you can get to your place of freedom because God wants us all to be free that's one thing I love about him uh, amongst the many things God does want us to be free he wants us to be whole anytime we have something against us that's manipulating us uh, that means that there's something within us that has been given over to the enemy and the enemy is using it against us and instead and if the enemy has access to it then that means that you don't have access to it and since you don't have access to it God doesn't have got access to it and God loves you so much that he wants to access all of you catch that by the spirit so those are the five things I would say um, you're watching this video uh, subscribe to the to my blog subscribe to the YouTube channel follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll definitely come back and answer any questions that you uh, other questions you have for me uh, leave them in the comment section and um, I'll definitely get to it so we can begin to live the life that God intended us to live